Hey Rangers, this is Sarah with your Ranger Report. A weekly report will post every Friday to keep you updated on what's happening here on campus. First up, Student Support Services Project Success Program received a grant of over $70,000 from the Great Lakes Higher Education Guarantee Corporation. Art in the Library is now accepting submissions to the Fall 2013 show. This exhibition will feature work inspired by Edgar Allan Poe, who is also this year's Big Read author. Wednesday, September 18th, there will be a panel discussion examining the prospects for U.S. intervention in Syria in the Walnut Room from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Also happening that Wednesday, there will be an intro to mentoring class offered from 5 to 7 p.m. in the Talent Hall Orchard Room. Next Friday, September 20th, there will be an Advanced Ethics and Boundaries for Social Workers class offered 8 a.m. until noon in the Student Center Oak Room. From our Ranger Athletics, 2013 GLVC Player of the Year and former UWP men's basketball student athlete Jeremy Saffold signed a professional contract to play overseas with Butami, Georgia. Our women's soccer team is ranked third in the Midwest region. Shout out to Mallory Gertz for securing the Women's Soccer Defensive Player of the Week award. Both our men and women's teams play St. Joseph's College at home this afternoon, with our women's team taking the field at 1.15 and our men's team at 3.30 p.m. Our cross-country teams gear up for their season opener this week, looking to defend its home turf on Saturday at the Midwest Open. Our women's volleyball team hosts the seven-team UW Parkside Tournament inside the DeSimone Gymnasium this Friday. Action begins at noon, with the Rangers hitting the floor at 2 p.m. against Wayne State University and again at 6.30 p.m. against Gannon University. For more information on these and other events, go to uwp.edu slash go slash news. We'll see you next week, and thanks for stopping by.